Welcome to today's video where we're taking a look at the Mayono DGM20 RGB gaming microphone. Mayono sent this out for review but that does not affect my thoughts or opinions. It is currently Amazon's choice for small microphones at the moment and it's currently priced at $44.99 in the UK at the time of recording. It has a pretty good rating with 45 reviews and a 4.5 star rating, most of them being 5 and 4 stars. It has some pretty cool features like active noise cancellation. We'll take a look at that during this video. So the box comes well presented and nicely packaged. It's all safe and secure. It actually is very well presented. I like the look of this. We get a little accessories box and the microphone. Get that wrapping out of here and then we can take a look at this. Okay, so it's mostly made from plastic, but it looks really nice. We've got a dial on the bottom which rotates around 320 degrees. It's not quite a 360 degree movement, but it does give you a lot of leeway. We've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for audio monitoring and the Mayono branding and pop filter on the front. The pop filter is removable for maintenance and cleaning. The microphone is suspended on four rubber bands and it's anchored to this shock mount. This will definitely help reduce some of the unwanted sounds. We've got a wing nut on the rear which allows you to adjust the pitch and tilt of the microphone. And I believe you could also mount this to an existing shock mount if you wanted to. We'll take a look at that also in this video. In the accessories box we get the shock mount adapter. This is made from plastic. I would have liked this to be a metal or an aluminium of some kind but it seems fairly good, it should do the job. We also get a USB lead included. This is a USB-C to USB-A and it is a premium lead. We've got an adapter on the end there so you can also opt to use USB-C to USB-C if you prefer. This is a premium cable, although it's not braided or material, it's just a rubberized cable. The microphone has two touch buttons on the top. The left button is for the RGB. There's a few modes that you can cycle through. We'll take a look at those in just a moment. And then on the right hand side, you've got your tap to mute, or you can hold the button down for three seconds to activate the noise cancelling feature. We'll also take a look at that in a moment. Let's take it over to the PC to start testing. Okay, so it is a plug and play microphone. Your Windows or Mac should pick this up right away. Mine did. And it also changed from my main tonal mic straight away to the Mayono. The touch buttons on the top are very responsive. The tap to mute works and you get a green and a red LED indicator light. The RGB, you can cycle through each of the colors or you can just leave it on like a rainbow effect where it just cycles through. But what I found really interesting is my tonal microphone here, which is double the price of this Mayono one, is very similar. The tonal one is a metal construction, the Mayono is a plastic construction, and the tonal come with a boom arm. But this Mayono is less than half the price. That's actually exactly the same lighting mode. I'm actually really surprised at that. It's slightly slower on the uh, Mayono, but <laughs> I'm, I'm actually quite surprised at that. I wonder if they use the same components for the RGB. This microphone does come with the stand and the stand is weighted at the bottom so it does sit nice and sturdy. However, I did notice while using this that a few knocks and taps on the desk, they do show up when you don't want them to. You can turn the gain down which does help with this but in my opinion it would be much better on a boom arm or just away from your actual keyboard. I still can't get over this RGB, it's almost immaculately synced. Okay, let's put this microphone onto the boom arm. It's pretty simple to do, just remove your existing microphone and then you wanna add that little plastic thread. Make sure that's on nice and tight. And then you undo the wing nut on your Mayono microphone, slide out the nut and lift the microphone off the stand. Then you just go ahead and place that into your adapter, put the bolt in and tighten it up. Nice and easy. We've got good access to everything on the microphone. It works just as well, if not better, on a boom arm in my opinion. Other than when you actually touch the microphone, you don't get any of the knocks or bangs that you do get from the keyboard or from your arms on the desk. Okay, so now I'm fully set up with this microphone. This is the microphone that we are using. This is like the ideal range around here would be where I speak into the microphone and it gets the best audio quality for me. At the bottom here, we do have the gain dial. Again, this can be really helpful. Now, I'll go through the settings. This is an audio test with the Mayono 
DGM20 gaming microphone. I'll turn the gain down to zero. So this is with the gain down to zero. This is with the gain at around 25%. This is with the gain at around 50%. This is with the gain at around 75%. This is with the gain at around 100%. I use it around 60% or something like that. That's around perfect for me. By tapping the right button once, this mutes the microphone. You get a red and a green indication light to indicate what setting you're using. You could also hold this button for three seconds. The LED will go blue and this activates the noise cancelling. So now any fans from the PC or things like that they should all be blocked out. You can deactivate that by holding it again for three seconds. Okay, so we'll do an example now to test the pop filter. We're gonna use some Harvard sentences that are used for testing microphones. So we'll start with the first one. The small pup gnawed at the hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. I'm quite impressed with this microphone. I could probably use this in my videos and people wouldn't even notice the difference. You can also use an audio cable to monitor your audio. This works quite well. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the microphone. Although it is a plastic construction, I think it's well worth it in this price range. I don't think you're gonna find much better than this for 45 pounds. It's made quite well. It has some useful features. It performs to a good standard and it includes everything that you're gonna need to get you started right out of the box. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all or informative or just enjoy supporting small creators like me, please consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss any uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you for watching and being here today, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews and I'll see you in my next video.